Hello guys, my name is Piro Skatsos and today we're going to talk about uh, the new version of Mediator that came out recently, the version 12.0.1. This version introduced some major changes and two of them is first that you don't longer need to reference the mediator.extensions.microsoft.dependency injection agent package to register Mediator into your ASP.NET uh, DI container. And the second one is that you can now return a task from a handler which uh, might break your application without even notice it since you don't get a compilation or a runtime error. So let's see what uh, do I mean by that. I have a customer's API. Uh, if I go to my Nugget package, I, as you can see, I use the previous version of Mediator 11.1.0 and the appropriate the Nugget package to add it to my DI container and as you can see uh, the next version is 12.0.1 uh, and uh, I have in my controllers a customer controller which uh, has a create endpoint and uh, through that I send a creator customer command to mediator if you see that command it only has a full name it's an I request of unit and I just return a task from result uh, with the unit.value so it doesn't do anything but I also have a great customer validator that uh, validates that the full name is not empty and uh, I have a validation behavior in which I validate its request and if you have any validation failures we threw an app validation exception that's the app validation exception and finally I have an uh, exception middleware and if it's a validation exception, I return the appropriate message. And of course, I register that middleware. So if I go and debug that, and I also open Postman, and uh, I hit that endpoint uh, with a request with an empty full name, I'll get back full name must not be empty. Now let's update to the new version of Mediator. First of all, you might send in that create customer command that you don't have an I request of unit, but just an I request. But it's the same thing since, as you can see, the I request implements the I request of unit. So let's go to our Nugget package. Let's remove that uh, extension Microsoft Dependency Injection package. Okay, and let's update our mediator. Now, first of all, in our program.cs, we need to register Mediator in a different way. So let's do that really fast. So configuration dot register services from assembly and let's pass the executing assembly. So assembly dot get executing assembly and everything should be fine for the registering forgot to mention that also I add my pipeline behaviors and my validators and now let's go back to our create customer command and now that will not compile since now the I request does not implement the I request of unit and we can have handlers that return just a task so I will have that to return a task I will remove that unit from there and I will just say task dot completed task in here and let's try run that again and hit that endpoint with the same empty full name and we get back 200 ok just by changing our handler to return a task instead of a task of unit now why is that happening let's go to our validation behavior and as you can see the generic of the validation behavior that we passed down to the ipipeline behavior it's a t request and a t response and we have the constraint that the T request should be an I request of T response. But now our I request, it's not a generic type and it's not an I request of T response, it's just an I request. So that command didn't uh, go through the validation behavior. Now there's a very simple solution to that. Let's go back to our create customer command and let's see what's in that I request. And as you can see, the I request and also the generic I request, they both implement the I base request. So all we have to do is go back to our validation behavior and change that constraint here and let's say that the T request is an I base request and if I go and debug that and I'll hit the send button in my postman 
now as you see we get back the validation error and everything works fine and that's everything for this video if you liked it please like and subscribe thank you for watching and have a nice one